Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is 9th Legion. Let's play some more Xenonauts Community Edition, where we're on the second episode of our alien base assault. So, we managed to clear out a number of rooms back here. We've taken down eight bad guys so far. And overall, we're not doing too bad. I am getting increasingly concerned about this poor bloke back here, though. He's all on his own. I don't want him getting picked off. Uh, we've got two more people over here watching this doorway. But I am hoping, as we move this team through here, we might be able to start linking them back up. And I think at that point, if they're going to move on, we will pull this guy out and ignore these teleporters behind us. I'm a bit worried about being flanked, but no one's used them yet. So, uh, let's see, where is everyone? Everyone's... right. Let's move up this door. I don't think this door opened last turn. Let's double check that. Let's make sure no one's waiting on the other side. You can hear two or three doors still opening or closing, so there's still a bunch of bad guys out there. We don't actually know how many we're facing. Um, but let's do the usual thing, which is usually the wrong thing. And we're going to stack up in front of this door, like idiots. Because I always want maximum firepower to breach through. You're actually running a bit low on ammo there, my friend. Okay, just so you don't shoot anyone in the back, we're going to leave you facing that way. And as you're down to 4 of 12, I'm going to reload now. Okay. Another set of doors opening. You just check that area for me. Good. You guys are fine up there. What's on the side of the door? Ooh, okay. That is a big room. Um, That corridor definitely looks like it connects up to there. Okay, depending on what we find in the back of this... We might be able to send someone around here and have these three, send this rifle went back, have these three sweep up that corridor for us. We haven't seen that door open in a while, but there were two guy, bad guys in there. Is that a cow? Okay, we found an alien lab. They're growing something in there. That's not good. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got a doorway there, we've got a doorway there. Now, we don't know if there's someone standing there opening and closing that door, so we've got to be careful here. But I'm going to have to step you out, because I want to see further around the corner. You didn't get shot, which is good. I appreciate that. And this would be nice, because if this all narrows down to one section... Presuming this corridor doesn't go anywhere else. If this all narrows down to one section, then we can move through here and check this area out. Which I think we're going to do. So, let's see. I... I would like to actually breach this room with a full team of people, so... We're not going to progress any further around there. I'm going to leave you there, you there. You are going to start running up this way for me. Uh, let's leave you behind that doorway for now. Uh, and we'll send a buddy with you as well, actually, because those three should be able to handle this area for us for now. And then these four can check out this corridor, and then we'll move you up to back up these guys. So we'll have two carbines to go clear through this area. Ah, there's an open doorway up there as well. Okay, I thought maybe we could... It was going to choke point on that door for us. That's interesting. Oh, crap. There was a bad guy there. I kind of forgot about that door. Okay, that is mildly disconcerting. Why the hell didn't he shoot at us? He opened that door. He must have seen us. We are in cover. There is actually a line of cover. It's hard to see, but behind that door, there is actually a line of cover. Um, How are we going to deal with you? Might be better to actually come up you from this side. So let's see. If I move you up to there. Move you up to there. Hopefully they'll get a chance to reaction fire before too bad happens. This sniper, can you get it all the way over there? You can. My god, the mobility. I love the mobility. Alright, set up there. And then maybe we actually move you to there next turn. Yeah, that would actually work. Move you to there. Pop the door open with this guy and just spray down this corridor. I mean, that's actually a pretty long range shot. Maybe move the sniper up here as well. Maybe put the sniper there. I don't know. There's there's options here. There's options. Uh, I'm actually going to pull you back a bit. Move you to there. And then if this guy does come ag come aggressive and try and try and pop that door, we'll be protected. Um, get you crouching there. Actually, I do want you facing. Prim pr I want you facing that way quite a lot. That's where I think the attack's going to come from. And you, just keep an eye on this. I am worried about being flanked, but I don't want to leave that guy behind for too long. OK, 
Okay, door open and closed. I mean, that might just be that guy opening and closing that door all the time. Alright, let's see if we can get set up for this. I'm going to move you to there. Got to be careful not to click this door, because that will screw me up. I'm going to put you there. Put the sniper on this side, and maybe they can fire down and hit the guy who was standing up there. You back them up, just in case they need a bit of C CQB. Uh, face that way. I'm clicking really far away from the door, so I don't accidentally open it. And let's get you set up behind this. Now that you will, the shots will probably get blocked by this, but you're going to fire ten shots, so you know there's a lot that could work it for us. Okay, uh, I want you to open the door. Damn, there's another opening there as well. Man, this place is a maze. Oh, you can't fire around that corner at all. I could move you up to there, but then that door's going to close behind you. Uh, let's see. This isn't a great chance to hit, but... Yeah, screw it. Hey, you know what? It worked. Let's not complain about that. Okay, you are not doing us any use back there. Let's start moving you forward. We're just going to have to ignore the teleporters. We did consider trying to destroy them, but... Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay, now there might be someone down here. That's not, an, oh, that's not a door, that's just a archway. I'm going to pop out, say hi. No. Okay, well, that's nine bad guys down. Let's mark you off on my little tally list. I have no idea how many bad guys we're facing. With most of the UFOs, at least the early UFOs, I have a general idea of how many bad guys there are. Right now, no idea. Um, you've used two-thirds of your ammunition. You've got five reloads. So let's pop a reload now. Um, as everything seems quiet, we can wait for this guy to catch up with us. Captain Stigendeberg. Okay heard two doors open that time, so we are slowly getting through all of their doors. What we need to do is check out this place. Um, how are we going to do that? Who's got the most mobility? You have 19. No. Uh, you have a lot of mobility. Yeah, it's going to have to be you guys going in through this. You open the door for them. Okay, no one else around here. Uh, let's, just, let's just take you in. I can always run you back out if you have a bad time. And by bad time, I mean, you know, get shot in the face. Okay, so we've got an opening there. So I'm going to need this team to watch that doorway. This team to watch this room. Now that's interesting actually, because this team has the two... This team has two carbines which and the pistol, which are very short range weapons. They've only got one rifleman here, so they're actually better off dealing with this and breaching that doorway for me. And we set the snipers or someone up. Yeah, let's get the sniper and the heavy weapon in here, and they can watch this long room. That would work better, so we need to kind of rotate people around a bit. Okay. Uh, for now, you take up that position. Oop, no, wrong key. No, wrong key, go away. Thank you. Take up that position. I want you on that position. I don't want people to get too separated by doors. So let's try and keep everyone together. Okay, let's see if that door does open. These guys might be able to see something if that door is opening and closing. Then you guys shuffle up to here for me. And we'll re-breach this room next. Can't actually see that door from there. Damn. Sometimes you can fire around these corners, and sometimes you just really can't. I guess the arrow angle is just too tight. Okay, let's pop this door. Uh, you, have, you have the most time units. Okay, still empty and quiet, which I like. We do have a lot of cover in here. Not all of it great cover, I'll admit. Hmm. I wonder if you could fire through that, because that... I don't know if that's solid cover or not. You should be able to fire through that. It looks like it's good cover, but you can fire through it. So can I get... I want you... Let's, let's just get you into position. Let's move you up there. Crouch there. Can you fire through this? You can. There's a lot of stuff that's going to block you. But you've got a scatter laser. I mean, you get ten shots out of the damn thing. And you can start mowing down stuff. Uh, let's put you there as well. Perfect. And then you... Go there. Those three are going to lock down this room for us. I want everyone else in here. So we can start trying to breach into this room. 
Because if we can't find the control room, then we can actually get visibility of their entire base. And that would change a lot of things. So if that's the control room, that'd be great. I have no idea where the control room is, or even what it looks like. But hey, we'll find that out as we go. Okay, all quiet. So what cover have we got up here? We've got that. We've got that. So I can move to there. And I have two people behind you. That might work. Uh, let's get a rifleman there. And let's get you there. So we've got a carbine and a rifle ready to go. Uh, you guys face away. I don't want you shooting each other in the back. Actually, no, you... No, don't. Yeah, don't risk it. You guys are all crouched, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, we're not actually seeing... if We haven't actually been able to see yet if this door's opening and closing, so there might be a bad guy behind it. Survey says no. Okay, perfect. Um... I mean, I'm not sure how much I trust that, so I'm going to keep edging up in cover. Well, apparently I'm not, because I just screwed up that movement. Okay. Screw it. Get up close and personal. Um, you stay there. Might need you to rush in on this, I don't know. Okay. That's an ominously coloured room. Okay. Uh, another doorway over there as well. Damn, I just want to hit a dead end and be able to focus on this room. That's all I'm really hoping to find. I want to be able to focus my people together. And an open door over there. Man, this is a tough room. So we've got a door there and a door there. I mean, are we... Not even that close to the edge of the map, I've got to be honest. We're not even that close to the edge of the map. Okay, so we've got a room there. That needs to be breached. Um, I've got two riflemen that could watch that way and that way, and then breach through here with the shield and the assaults. I think that's the best we could probably aim for at this point. Um, so if we're going to do that, I need the other carbine up here. Let's actually... Can I shut this door? There we go. Let's just hunker down there for the time being. Let's move you up to move with them. You guys just keep watching that area. Okay. Now the problem here is going to be if that door's being opened and I put someone here to watch this angle we could be in a lot of trouble because they could get shot in the back. Again, we we're hearing doors opening and closing but I don't know which ones they are. I mean, ideally I want to put more someone there and put someone here to watch that way and then move the assault team up here. Open this door, clear this room and then sweep around. You know what? We might actually need more firepower on this. So we'll leave the sniper and the heavy weapon to just watch this room for us. It seems quiet. No one's opening and closing doors over there. Close that again. I'm going to stand everyone up, because I want them to have maximum time units to actually breach in next time. So we can kind of rush everyone into their positions, and standing up takes time units as well as standing, uh, sitting, uh, you know, crouching down. So normally I wouldn't do this, but screw it, in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, who's got the most time units? 87, 80, right, you get to open the door. Okay, take up a position there. Not a great angle, but it'll do. You take up a position there. Not a great angle, but it'll do. You move up to here. Okay. Oh shit, there's an opening there as well. Oh man. God, this place is a blimmin' maze. Let's see what happens with this door. Didn't open. Okay, that's good. That is good. This is not so good. Uh, you need to open that door. Okay. What the hell is that? 
Okay. I, I don't like it in there. That area seems clear. Let's take this really slow and careful. Where does that go to? That probably connect. Okay, so that probably connects into there. Which is fine. could run them to the other side. Did we see all the tiles in there? I feel like there were a couple of tiles we didn't get line of sight on. But I also want you to help reach into this room, so... Do I move you to here? Well, I just accidentally, I accidentally just double clicked that, so screw it. We move you to there and hope no one pops out. Good. Okay, that was a mistake. I did not mean to do that, but hey. Apparently this is where we are now. Uh, you... She needs to be able to get people past you, so I'm actually going to put you here. I really want someone to check out that corner, actually. Okay. Just stay there. You can watch their backs. You turn around without opening the door. Let's get you over there. I'm going to do this quick and dirty. What's behind door number two? A locked down room. Is that a... Ooh. Okay, that's a locked door. Oh shoot, is that the command chamber or whatever it's called? The command room? Don't I don't think I've seen a locked door before. I mean, that looks like a priority target for C4ing. If I've ever seen one. Who's got C4 a prunk? Uh, shield doesn't. You don't. James doesn't. Damn it. Has anyone here got C4 for me? You do. How many charges of C4 we got? I don't know how strong these doors are. I'm assuming one will do the job. You don't. Okay, so we've got one C4 charge in this room. I didn't bring a huge amount. You've got one. You have, I actually only brought two? Man. Okay. Good job I didn't use any earlier. So I need you over here, which means I need you to cover that spot. Okay, move to there quickly, just in case anyone comes wandering down behind us. I mean, the problem is they could probably come out of here and walk through here and we wouldn't see them, but I can, I've only got a limited number of guys here. Okay, so if I move you to there, get that C4 charge out. Throw that there, give it a couple of turns, pull back, and then we maybe try and breach this fully. I mean, actually, is it worthwhile clearing the back of this room quickly and then setting up just some one person here to watch that opening and then having everyone else ready? Because that door... If that door is locked... They can't come through it. So, we, yeah, if we clear the rest of this room, I can leave one rifleman just to watch here and get... That will give us five people to breach with. Blow the doors off and charge through. Yes. Yes, I like that idea. Okay. So, I actually want to grab you. Make your way through here for me. I want to check this area is actually properly clear. Okay, that side is clear. Okay, good. Get into a bit of cover. Let's have you work your way around here. spot. Good. Now you... I want to check this space here, but this is probably the most vulnerable spot, so if, we, if I can get you here and then pull you back, I probably will do. Okay, definitely no bad guys are there. And we can put that rifleman kind of like here or something, just to watch the doorway, and everyone else, yeah, everyone else is ready to support. And then we can blow the doors off this and breach. This could be the power room, which I don't want, or it could be the command room, which I do want. She's a, I mean, I could just leave you there. That's, um, 
It's not the worst. I'll be honest. Actually, better cover than down here. I mean, you've got line of sight, which is all I really need. Yeah, let's leave you there. Okay, you can come back. Okay, so we're not going to need everyone in front of this door because, honestly, you know, sh stuff's about to explode. Let's be honest here. Uh, you stand over there. You go that side as well. Okay, open that door back up for him. Uh, you watch there. Okay, let's set the timer on this. Uh, we're going to give ourselves plenty of time just in case of screw up, so give me four turns. And I don't want to. Oh, oh, that's kind of annoying because the angle. I want to throw it at the feet of the door. I've never actually thrown it at the door itself. What happens if I do that? Bad things, probably. Um, I want to put it on the tile at the base of the door, but because of the angle of the camera, I can't actually target that. So throw it at the door, I guess. Did that go in the room? Okay, that might have gone in the room. Fine. That's a um, a good thing, I guess. I don't know where that C4 charge just went. It is definitely not on this side of the door. Not quite what I wanted. Um, I kind of want someone actually behind here so they can see down there. There we go. I was just trying to get him to face in the right way. Okay, we're all set up there. Three more turns until the boom. Uh, keep the door open. We should be far enough away from the explosives, so that should be fine. Okay, that's one door opened. It doesn't look like we saw anything, although there's a bunch of fire, so we're not going to charge in just yet. I suppose if I'd actually put the C4 charge there, we could have blown off both doors, but this does provide us a bit of cover. Um, that doesn't... I don't know what that room looks like. That room doesn't look like... That room looks a lot like this. This might actually be, for some reason, a closed-off teleporter room. If so, that would actually be really good. That would... That would actually mean I don't have to... I can stop worrying about that. And you give it a couple of turns for those fires to die out. Okay. Yeah, fires are gone. Shields up. Yep, okay. Interesting. So this is the teleporter room, which for some reason was locked. Which means I probably didn't need to worry about this the entire time we've been here. And it's also completely empty. Okay. That's... Good. Whoa, what? Can I get off the map? Or are you just... Okay. Yeah, it's just because I don't know where the map is. It's saying I can get off the map. Okay. Well, if those teleporters link to these teleporters, then this is entirely safe. And I mean, it's a set of four, and we've got a set of four, the rooms are identical. Yeah, I'm going to say we, we can actually stop worrying about the teleporters, which is good. So, let's start moving people around again. We want to start focusing on this side again. Uh, you move down to there. Bit of a wasted C4 charge, but we needed to see what was, what was on the other side of that door. There was really no other way of doing that, I don't think. As these guys are all together, we'll actually move through this room next. I still feel like we've got this room fairly well locked down. Can you see anything up the corridor? No. Okay, get to there and stay safe. You get in behind him. Probably should have put them the other way around, but a hey, shorter ranged weapon is at the back, which isn't quite good tactics, but hey. I don't think anyone who's watched this series is actually, you know, thinking I've got amazing combat tactics here. Okay, uh, you go there. Just get you behind him. Okay, so far, so good. He says there's a horde of aliens come out that corridor and rip us to shreds. Uh, right, these are both 
archways, so there's no doors to open or close. But if we can move up and take this room, I don't know... Ooh, this is actually the top of the map, so this room might be it. How close are we to this side of the map? Can I actually tell? Not a huge amount of distance. There's only a couple of tiles off, so there might be there might be three or four more rooms over here. We'll have to see. But this should be it. This should, hopefully, just link back to here, and then we're down to that choke point I was after. That would be nice. That would, that would be pleasant. Okay, you... Move up to this. Now we've got line of sight on that door. That's going to tell us if anyone's opening and closing that one. Which I would like to know before we actually charge everyone in there, so... Let's see if that door opens or closes. Nope. Okay. Good. Alright, shield up front. Take point. Check those corners. Check behind you. Clear. We've got another kind of this arrangement by the looks of it. But this is actually a pretty small room. Okay, just pull back out of there until we can get a bit more cover for you. You move up and support. Uh, let's get you there. Kind of going to have to set up here without cover, but making the best of an open hallway. You set up there. So shotgun in front, or sorry, laser carbine in front. And you move over there so you two are ready to move in after this to support. Okay. Let's go. That door is not being opened or closed. To be honest, considering we've had people in this room for a while, I'd be surprised if there was a bad guy sitting in an open-ended hallway, but... I mean, you know, aliens. You never know. Ooh. Okay, door with a special mark on it. We haven't seen any doors with marks on them before like that, have we? Okay, so again, that could mean... Uh, either power or command. Or it could mean nothing. But I'm going to bet it means something. Um, I would really like to see if anyone's opening that door. So I'm going to leave you there so you actually have eyes on it. Let's get you there. Just to watch this corner in case anyone pops out. Let's put a uh, rifleman behind you. In case there's a chance of reaction fire on someone opening and closing a door. You move to there. And just keep an eye on this door with these guys. Actually, we'll put you right up on the corner there. Moving very slowly. Yep, there's someone on that door. We can't see them, though. But that tells us a lot. Let's see. Okay, there's a dude back there. That's not great. Gotta be honest. Um, I'd actually really like to... Cl if I could cl say this is actually clear, I could focus my efforts on this part, on this door. Move to there. Pop the door. Okay, you're empty. That's... That's actually good. Okay. And no one should be able to get up there, because we can see to this tile with these guys down here. So no one should be able to step out and shoot you without you being able to see them. And this room funnels down to that door. can't see those tiles there, which makes me a bit alarmed. But if we can get you kind of set up there... What I really want is someone to be able to see who's opening and closing that door and get fire on them. Can you fire around that? No. But that also means you can't get shot from there, which I kind of like. Oh crap, there's a dude standing right there. Okay. Didn't think that I thought they were on the other side of the door. It's always the one tile you can't see where you have this kind of problem. Okay. Ooh, you're in a. Yeah, that's a really tricky spot because I'm going to struggle to get people to get. They have to get really close to you to actually get fire on you. Um. Okay, I could actually take a shot from where we are. 33 time units, and that would leave you enough to still get into cover here or up here, which actually break line of sight, which would be nice. How many time units for that? Need 45 remaining to get. That would leave me with 45. And you need 33. 
Maths. Maybe that works. Screw it, take the shot. Okay, that was terrible. Okay, break line of sight and get out there. If he does come charging towards us, we've got a shotgun here. You might be able to see him. You can't see anything. Crap, 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 crap. Oh! Oh, no. Stitchy the burger's down. No reaction fire at all. Guy just walked straight out and started lighting us up. Give me some burst fire on this guy. Oh, man. That was terrible shooting. Okay, 27 damage. Not bad. Can you see him from there? No. We've got to get up close and personal with this guy. That was bad luck. We done... Ah, oh, there's two of them. And you're purple. Does that mean that's a commander? You don't have an electric shock grenade. Why don't you have an electric shock grenade? Okay. This suddenly got a lot less good. Because you're... Well, for one thing, you're dead. Secondly, you managed to miss most of your shots. You're wounded, but still standing. How am I going to get an angle on this guy? Move you to there and try and do the same thing down here, but then what am I going to do about this guy? I mean, you do have the combat shield. And I can actually just try and shoot you straight up. It's only a laser pistol at range. That's not going to be great. Uh, you could move up to there, but the same thing that happened to you might happen to you if I move you to there. Yeah, this room is terrible. That is definitely the command room, though. That's interesting. That is definitely the command room. If we take that, we can see the rest of the map. I mean, there might not even be any other bad guys. This might be it, but... Yeah, this is problematic. And um, we lost Stygian. Okay. Need to get an angle on this guy. You've got to move around to there. Crouch for cover. Give me three shots. Okay, that's one down. You... Pull back to there. You... Pull back to there. Actually, no, pull back to there. Okay, let's see if we can pull this guy further forward. You opened the door. Okay. Did you open the door and leave, or did you open the door and stay standing? No, you left. Okay. Four shots, seven shots. Okay, who's got electric shock grenade? You have an electric shock grenade. You have an electric shock grenade. Yeah, everyone apart from the one guy who maybe might have been able to do something with it. Okay. Interesting. Done almost a full retreat there. Okay. Have we got any more C4 to blow this door? Or do I have to breach? No, the only remaining C4 charge is back here. And you've got one. You don't have one. Okay. Yeah, we're going to run the C4 charge up. So the sniper's going to have to stay in this room on their own for the time being. You are going to come up this way. 
I could have run them up this way, but you know, there's unexplained terrain, an unexplored terrain, and a door, which concerns me. At least this way, we know the area is clear. Ooh, okay. Ooh, he's all the way back. Damn. Well, that is another bad guy down. Actually, we killed two more bad guys, so that's uh, eleven bad guys in total. With eyes on a twelfth. Uh, why are you not crouching? You should definitely be crouching. Okay, never ammo check. You have four shots left, seven shots left, five shots, five, six. Okay. I mean, the problem is, if I actually do see for this door, then I've got to get up this corridor in the room when he, with him shooting at us. Whereas otherwise, I could use this pop open and close this door to actually give us some cover. The other thing is, he does appear to be an officer, so do I want to try and actually frag him down? I mean, if we could capture him, that would be great. But I've already lost one soldier. Do I want to risk losing another? Uh, also, where the hell am I going to put you that you can't get shot? Let's move you up to there. Reload you. How's the sniper doing on ammo, actually? Yeah, let's reload you as well. Just in case. I kind of want to use the door as cover. Because I can always close it again. And I mean, if we could capture this guy. We've got a lot of electroshock grenades. If I moved you to there, and all you did was open and close the door for us and everyone else threw grenades in, that might work. Depends if there's a lot of bad guys in there, actually. Because we didn't expect that second guy to pop out, and then he did. Um, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to give one more turn, because if he was, he was sort of moving down here. If he's moving up to here, he this would be probably the turn he actually popped out and opened the door. So let's see what his action is. Not opening that door. Also, we are still hearing a door open somewhere, so there is, an, some, there is another bad guy on another door somewhere. Okay, let's move up and do this. Set up there. You get ready to move in there. You've got two grenades. Move over to there. I'm going to leave you there. You've got the C4 and another electroshock grenade. So if we get this door open, you might be able to throw one grenade. It's going to take more than one. I can guarantee that. This purple guy is going to be tough. and Probably not the kind of officer we should go after, but screw it. We, we need to find out how many people are on the other side of this door anyway. One guy all the way back there. That is also a really long throw, I've got to say. Can we check these corners at all? Okay, let me just stand you up and check you out. Okay. Now he does have, I believe that's the plasma variant of the uh, carbine. So he is, he has got short ranged firepower, which means if we standed, stood here and were just throwing grenades and stuff at him and then pulled back, he would struggle to get all the way over here, open the door, and then actually do anything, I think. Unless he's got like 120 time units. Which is entirely possible. I mean, he's like some kind of alien super god. I don't know. How far can we even throw grenades? Can I actually throw grenade that far? No, I'm going to need to actually be in the room to do this. And there's actually a lot of stuff blocking. Grenade throws are really inaccurate. For some reason, throwing blocks of C4... 100% accuracy so far. Throwing grenades, really inaccurate. I can close this door still. Okay. So you've moved from there to there. It's not terribly useful, 
but... Okay. Are you going to move back again? I was kind of wondering to see if you'd start moving closer. Okay. He's moved closer, and now I can't see him. Minor problem. Oh, Christ, where is he? Okay, he was there. He could not have got down to this corner, surely. So are you on this side of me? Ooh, okay. Well, that used up your reaction fire. And you're a lot closer now, which is what I was kind of after. Why is it a 75% block chance because there's someone in front of you? God damn it. Okay, crouch. That's better. Okay, that's... One grade. 90 stun damage. Wow. Okay. Also, interestingly, not enough. Okay, he is down. He is down. I repeat, Tango is down. Um, I have no idea if he can wake back up from that. So my plan here is simple. I'm going to put someone on top of his body and I'm going to steal his gun. Uh, that's a plasma battery. That's not a grenade. Okay, if he does wake up, he's not going to have a gun. <laughs> this is my entire plan here. You were just to guard that corpse. I, I think I've taken them alive. I'm not sure. Oh boy. Okay, um, let's see. Ooh. Oh, and now we can see the entire base. And what can we see in the entire base? One more bad guy behind that door. Ooh, okay. That's good, that's good. Uh, right. I need, I need people down here to... It's not moving on that guy. I didn't realise we got information this turn. So what else can we see, actually? Are there any hidden passageways? It didn't mention hidden passageways. There's one over here. So yeah, that vent. You can blow that vent and that would allow us... Oh, that would have allowed us to circumvent this area and get into their power core. Right. Okay, this is good. If we can... Okay, I, I know we lost Stygian. That sucks. But if we can take this guy alive and we capture the base without having to destroy the power core, we're golden. And all we've got to do is take out this one last guy. He's probably going to murder half of us, isn't he? Uh, have you got any... You have plenty of time units left. Okay, let's start moving people down. Um, I kind of want I don't want to leave you alone, but I kind of also want as many people ready for the next bit as I can. Right, you're opening that door. Interesting. Apparently you guys couldn't see that door before. If I move you around to here, can you actually get a line of sight on that that's less blocked? Okay, hold there. Uh... It's a bit close for my liking, and you want a bit of fire. Yeah, that's not great. Maybe I actually bring you around the long way. Yeah, let's bring you around the long way. Uh, let's put you actually in there, so you can actually see down to him. And your shield is still good, so let's put you there as well. Bring you up behind there, so we've got two rifles pointing that direction. And the sniper... It's not actually a terrible shot. It's not a terrible shot. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Why are you backing off? Maybe you heard us. Okay. That's cool, we actually get like full non dangerous visibility. Um, if I'd known you were going to back off like that, I wouldn't have sent this guy around the long way, but okay. Bring you back down this way. Uh, you. I mean, you've got his gun. That guy shouldn't be a threat, and he is stunned. So let's move you down to there. Let's put you there. Let's put you behind the guy of the shield. You're covering that and you're going to come in this side. Uh, wait, who's got... Where's my laser carbine, guys? I feel like I'm missing someone. Oh, is it because someone's dead? It might be because someone's dead, damn it. Okay, what are you going to do, buddy? Opening the door. Ooh, we take a reaction shot. Ooh, nothing else. Okay. Man, that could have been it. Uh, let's move you up a little bit closer. If we can get reaction fire when he's opening that door, that would be beautiful.
Okay, watch your move, buddy. Nice, 30 damage. Okay, he one more good shot will take him down. Can we get one more good hit on this guy? You're still in cover there. Let's move around that way. Move you to there. Okay, if we're going to advance with the shield, you're going to need to move up to this spot here. And you're going to have to go there. Try to spread out a little bit, but stay in good cover so that you can't burst fire us and get suppression on us or anything. Okay, you can't fire, but the turn after this, that would be great cover. Oh, damn, that could have been it. That could have been it. Okay, you guys are set up now. I need... I need one more good shot. If I can just land one shot on this guy. Ooh, come on. Jesus. We all missed. I don't know why this guy's in firing. Op he's moving like three paces and then opening the door. He should have time units left, but he's not doing anything with them. Okay. How are you doing on ammo? Ooh, you need to reload. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I just actually need you to do something. Um... I feel like we can get this guy with reaction fire if we just get one more lucky shot. I feel like it doesn't even need to be that much of a lucky shot. I just need someone to actually hit. Four damage. Really? Four damage. Jesus. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We need to shuffle this around a bit. I need to get the shield down this side and come up from this way. I don't want to approach from this open terrain. Um, you take that spot. This is going to screw us up. You move up to there. You move to there. Right, you come down to here. No, crouch, please. Thank you. No reaction fire at all that time. Do we just run all the way down here and hope for the best? Or... Well, okay, pattern is he's going to move over to there, open that this turn, and then next turn he's going to move back. So I'd actually rather do it when the opposite turn, when he's further away. We just need one more shot to land. We're wasting so much ammo and not hitting this guy. Uh, but, but, but you've got the C4 charge. I mean, I could try and C4 the door. You're still fine up there guarding the prisoner. Do we try and C4 the door, or do we just close him with the shield? He's got a rifle, so it's not as bad as if he had the blaster. Uh, the, like the plasma carbine. I'm just going to have to put you right there. But he shouldn't know you're there. He'll move to here, open the door. And then you two might actually get reaction fire on him as well. You'll be behind the shield. It's probably the best we can actually hope for. As long as we don't get reaction fired in our own ass by our own team. Don't open the door. Although, if we open the door... Wait, wait, wait. If I open the door... Then you guys could all just shoot him. And I don't have to wait for anything else to happen. Hi, buddy. Uh, I need some damn accurate shooting here. That is terrible. But... Wow. Whoa. Okay. Well, you had a reaction time now. Uh... Oh, really? Really? Jesus. Okay, you actually hit our person. Not great. Not what I was hoping for. Down. Okay. That was an unfortunate couple of wounds at the back there, but they're not terrible. Two days and three days. That's pretty good. Um, what do we get? We got an Andron. Damn, that was an officer corpse. We didn't capture an Andron officer. I wonder if you can actually capture Andron officers at all. Um, that might not actually be possible. I kind of thought... And yeah... 
the grenades do shock damage to organic units and prob do damage to Andron units. Which probably still made them the best bet in that situation because, you know, 90 da- Wait, that guy took like 90 damage and then, I don't know what the second amount was, but it was a lot. So that officer did take a lot of hits. So two grenades at point blank range was probably the best way of doing it. Would have been cool if we got an officer out of that because um, we do need that. But hey, we did manage to capture a whole bunch of stuff. So that was 13 bad guys in the end. We lost Captain Stigendeberg. Unfortunate. Got sh blasted down at point blank range, but not not much we can do about that. Uh, alien base data, data core captured. Alien communication already captured. We got officer corpse and a soldier corpse. 12 alenium, which is pretty damn good considering we normally get three from corvettes. 40 more alien alloys. Um, we picked up just like a whole bunch of stuff. What were they carrying? Alien plasma batteries. Assault plasmas, heavy plasmas, and plasma rifle. Okay. So we made 63,000 from that. That's actually quite a low figure. That's what you get for a Corvette. I was hoping for more from this base. But I guess the real outcome here is this Alenium and Alien Alloys. Plus, everyone's picked up a whole bunch of new medals. What have we got? Uh, citation for Valor. Awarded for Valor demonstrating combat during the successful rescue on Alien Base. That's actually really good because plus one Bravery. Bravery is one of our worst stats. Um... So you've picked, you've killed 20 extraterrestrial units in combat, plus 3 bravery. So Colonel Arthur is now a plus 4 bravery. That is damn good. That's really good, actually. Uh, you've picked up a Order of Merit, plus 2 bravery, so you're plus 3. What have you got? Long Service Medal, 20 combat missions. Major Coralie has been on 20 combat missions. I wanna, okay, when we get back to base, I want to check out and see how many kills you actually have in total. Because 20 combat missions. Man, that's a lot. I think that's the first time we've seen that medal. Uh, everyone got some really nice stat increases here as well. That actually looks really good. Lots of strength increases as well, which we really want to carry the heavy armor. Again, really sucks that we lost Captain Stygian, but overall, I'm going to take that. Uh, we have research available. What are we currently working on? Alien Heavy Plasma, which is excellent, and the new dropship, which is good. Uh, we'll probably stick on that for a time being. Um, Andron Analysis and the Communications Array would be useful to stuff to research. Uh, let's get our people back home, because I'm a bit worried about them being shot down by fighter craft or something. Okay, right, quickly. Coralie. Coralie, Coralie, Coralie. Which, where's your statistics? Coralie Leroy. Uh, 12, 21 missions, 12 kills. Not bad. I wonder who's actually got the most kills. Uh, let's see. 12, 14 kills in 19 missions. That's pretty good. 17 kills in 12. Okay, that's not bad. 16 and 14. 12 and 21. Uh, 21 and 12. 18 missions, 21 kills for Arthur. Cap Colonel Arthur Kalavilenko, you are doing good work with that rifle. 86% uh, health, so you need a bit to recover. You're doing good. Five missions, ten kills. Wow. Really? Five missions and ten kills? That is actually probably the best overall statistics we've got. Uh, you guys haven't been on as many missions. Twelve and twelve. That's a... Yep. Leonid, you're doing good. Uh, zero Slug. Unfortunately, you're four for four. That's not bad. I do need to take Zero Slug out on more missions now that we've actually got you as a named person. Try and get you... See if, see if I can't get you killed. Five for five. Also pretty good. Uh, you haven't actually been on a mission yet. We should probably rectify that soon to get you start training up. Uh, two missions, zero kills on Anna. Yes, because you have like zero time units, although that is slowly improving. Okay, I am definitely going to take a break there. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Man, that was a stressful couple of missions, but we did okay. We did okay. Bye.